Hillary Middleton's artwork may appear to be sketched in a simple notebook, but what is packed inside makes a mark in the community beyond the bright and abstract colors. In this museum, inside the athens Clark County Library, there are 20 pieces of work showcased that were chosen from over 200 of her pieces. I don't have a book on me at all. It's all abstract. I, I say abstract art because I say abstract. It kind of just, it just kind of comes to me normally. Well, I appreciate art, so I I, I can see I, I go I can I can go to London to accept it. I think more abstract art because it's interesting how how it falls and how it will see a more step in the line. When she talks about metamorphoses and cocoons, I think she literally means that some of the images resemble butterflies, but also I think she's talking metaphorically that the process is like a beginning and then it's dormant state and then the presentation. So some of these she'll do the outline first and then we'll sit there for weeks. She'll come back and color it. Then it will sit there for a month, then we'll frame it. So in that way, it is kind of like a seed and then a pupil state and then a discovery. So I think you can look at that several different ways and that's an example of Hillary's wisdom when she says something like the example of a cocoon and metamorphosis. I think she genuinely needs it on multiple levels. And that's why it's so interesting. I think a metamorphosis is when a bubble comes out of a cocoon and that starts, what well, kind of comes into my head. It's mm -hmm. not Let's just say she uh, is a naturally positive person and she's always smiling and making other people smile. And she always is kind to people even if they're not so kind to her. And it's a good way to watch her as an example. Finding ones that she responds to the most, I'll flip through a notebook of a hundred that she's done. And then she'll say, stop, stop me when you like one, you know, or like, I'll say, what about this one? What about this one? And then she'll go, that one. And then I'll ask, well, what's it called? And she'll very quickly just kind of take a moment and come up with a title for it on the spot. And the titles are never preconceived. They're always after the fact when we've selected a group that we like. A lot of times uh, we're just doing little art projects just to fill the day. So if there's something that we would be doing anyway, and then you can take it that step further to share it with other people and turn it into a career and a um, chance to share with other artists. So it goes from being a sort of hobby in the kitchen to being a part of the community. And sh the fame hasn't changed her, I'll say. She still creates the same way, the same uh, velocity that she always has. And it's just about when one of these opportunities comes up, we're ready. But I can't look at it and say that's inspiring.